Alright, I'm back again. In this one, we will be knocking out some original Xbox wrestling games. Notice I get more, I get louder, uh, I get, you know, more excited about talking about things, talking about whatever I happen to be talking about at the time. When there's nobody here, uh, roommate just left, his friend took off with him, I'm here alone, um, I can be loud, whatever. But, uh, so we're going to knock out some original Xbox games, which I only have six of. Um, so there are several that I still need, but, uh, description below, I'll have a list of the Xbox games, uh, Xbox wrestling games that I need. Uh, if you feel like donating, much appreciated. Um, if not, you know, that's cool too. Um, so, let's start off, we'll do, uh, I have three WWE games, but we'll do those last. Um, start off with, this is, uh, Backyard Wrestling, Don't Try This at Home, the first Backyard Wrestling video game. I got this for, like, $1.50 on Amazon, and that, that was with shipping included. Um, that... Price alone should pretty much speak volumes for this game. It sounded weird when I just said volumes. <clears throat> Let me try that again. That price should speak volumes for this game. Uh, on the cover here, we've got... I forget the dude's name. Josh Prohibition. I want to say. Could be wrong. Is the dude on the table. The dude jumping on him is Matt MDog 20 cross Uh... WWE fans, uh, you might know Matt Cross from the most recent season of Tough Enough. Um, I thought he should have won. I've actually worked for the dude. I, uh, I designed some promos for him because I'm a graphic designer as well. Nice guy. Not like... Mm, his communication level is not great, but I mean, he's a nice guy. He's not a bad dude at all. Um... Got it, you know, manual, everything included. I do like that this game has Madman Pondo, which may not seem like a huge deal, but uh, I actually worked for a company that Madman Pondo wrestles for, doing their flyers. Um, I won't say their name because they uh, replaced me and didn't give me a heads up. So why should I why should I give them any uh, free publicity? Um, but yeah, it's 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 got weird people in it, man. I just uh, it's got porn stars in it. It's got you know insane clown posse's in it. It's got it's like the most random freaking people. Uh, it's it's fun for a while. Um. It doesn't have a lot of replay value. That's really my main issue with this. Um, you know, you play through it a couple times, and that's that's really about it. Um, it's 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 fun while it lasts, though. Um, I don't have Backyard Wrestling Two, which I I forget what the full name of it is. Backyard Wrestling 2, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> but, that will be in description box below. Um, you know, I have a list of Xbox games I need. Hook me up. Um, so we'll move on to Legends of Wrestling. This was also released on GameCube and PS2. Um... Excellent selection of wrestlers. Now, the selection of wrestlers, it's got so many good people. Like on the cover alone, Rob Van Dam, Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan, Terry Funk, Jimmy Snuka, Jimmy Hart, The Road Warriors, and Jerry the King Lawler. That's just who's on the front. However, good wrestlers do not make a good game. Um, 
the game is fun, but to me it just it's not it's not something you can play for a long time. Uh, you can play it, you know, every now and then. It's fun to throw some random legends in the ring against each other. Um, but it doesn't really... I don't know. It, it It's not as good as you would think it would be, you know? Um, and honestly, I would say that the Xbox version is the best version. Um, there's not really big differences. But what small differences there are, Xbox has the advantage. Um, it's not a bad game. It's There's just not a lot to do in it. I don't have Legends of Wrestling 2. I need that. So that'll be in the description box if you want to set me up with a copy. Um, I do have the third one, though. Legends of Wrestling. Technically, it's Legends of Wrestling 3. It's the third one. But they changed the name, and it is now Showdown Legends of Wrestling. And on the cover, we got Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Andre the Giant, Ultimate Warrior, Sting, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, and Jake the Snake Roberts. This is the best one out of out of the three that they made. This is undoubtedly the best one. Um, it's got more wrestlers. This has 73 73 wrestlers to choose from. Um, commentary from Tony Schiavone, Bobby the Brain Heenan, and Larry Zbysko. Um, it's got, you know, it's got more matches, um, arenas including Madison Square Garden, Cow Palace, Pontiac Silverdome, LA Sports Arena, Sky Dome, Mid-South Coliseum, Kobo Arena, Greensboro Coliseum, and more. 70s, 80s, 90s wrestlers are all in here. Um, let's see if mine is complete. Yep. Manual and disc. Um, this is this is the most rare, so highest priced Legends of Wrestling game. I got lucky and I got this one for about seven seven dollars and some change on eBay. Um, it was worth it. Uh, same as the first two, though. Huge selection of wrestlers, but the replay value is not fantastic. You can play a few matches, and it is fun, don't get me wrong. You can play a few matches, but, uh, like, in terms of game modes, different things to do, there's really not a ton to choose from. Um... But I would still consider that a must-buy if you are a wrestling fan. Um, we get to the WWF, WWE games. This is uh, WWF Raw, which I actually have the PC version as well, which I'll, I'll get to that whenever I get to the uh, PS1 games. The cover is just such crap. It's so low quality. Like, pathetic cover. Um, this came out during WWF's transition to WWE, so that's why it's still WWF. But, I mean, yeah, here we go. It came out during the, during the transition and actually got re-released. So this is the original WWF. And when it was re-released, it was WWE. Same cover, same crappy cover and everything. Um, the graphics, really the graphics suck. The game itself kind of sucks, really. Um, you know, give you a peek at the back there. It's just, this game really doesn't do it for me. Um, I'll tell you how much I paid for it. I got the case for free. Because, uh friend of mine uh, out in I don't know some other part of some other part of the state um, I bought some some games from her a while back and she had this but she didn't have the she didn't have the disc so I was like well why don't you just you know do you want to let me have the case for free she gave me the case and then later I picked up the disc on eBay for 
I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I paid 36 cents for the disc. So basically, I got this entire game for 36 cents. And it works perfectly. It's just not a good game. WWE Raw 2. This one is much, much better. Uh, the graphics. The graphics are way better. Big step up. Um, this one added in a story mode, which is actually pretty fun. Um, not a ton of replay value. Oh, I'm a sticker game. Not a ton of replay value. One second, I'm going to throw that away. Um, this is actually one of the games that I bought from the person I just mentioned a moment ago. Um, only on Xbox. It's this is a this is actually a pretty fun game. Can't play it for a long time, but it is fun. Um, has some good customization. Uh, you can use custom soundtracks so you can save save wrestling themes on your Xbox hard drive and use them in the game as their entrance themes. So that was pretty cool at the time. So much more we can do with video games now, I'll tell you. Very fun game. Uh, the last game I have here for Xbox, WWE WrestleMania 21. Um, Aw, oh, I hate that. And they don't come off right. Anyway, oh, this was only released on Xbox. One second, just throwing that in the trash. Only released on Xbox. Now, like I said earlier in, uh, in a previous video, the GameCube video, the graphics to this and the graphics of Day of Reckoning 2 are very, very similar. They're both amazing. Um, they're sort of... I don't, I don't know cartoony that doesn't feel like the right word to describe it but uh, they're really really good like I mean amazing graphics for the for Xbox you know um, I got this for like seven dollars on eBay I have a habit of getting decent games for seven bucks on eBay apparently only issue is my manual doesn't have a cover but I can replace that in the future, or if anybody has one they want to donate, you know, hook me up. Uh, very, very fun. I love this game. I, I really can't even pick out one specific thing that's amazing about it. I really, really like this game. You can play this over and over and over, and that game will not get old. So, um, that, that'll do it for Xbox. Um, like, comment, subscribe, check out the description, see if there's anything you'd like to donate. Um, we still got PS1, Nintendo 64, um, PS3, and a couple from other systems I don't have very many games for. So, um, yeah, check out the upcoming videos. If you haven't already, check out the previous videos. Um, you know, feedback, uh, topics that you want me to discuss, uh, things to review, what have you. Um, I guess that's about it. Just check out the videos and um, catch up on the next one.